When I was a child, someone showed me that if I held a seashell up to my ear, and if I was quiet and listened, I would be able to hear the ocean inside the seashell, because the seashell had come from the ocean. Now, obviously, you don't really hear the ocean when you put your ear to the seashell, but it taught me how to be still and listen, and it opened my eyes to the wonders of nature and God's creation. Nowadays, as an adult, I write a lot about hearing the voice of God, and there's nothing we can put our ear next to in order to absorb some vibrations from the supernatural, but we can still our, our spirits. We can rest in God's presence. We can read his word, and he will communicate the wonders and mysteries about himself and the things we need to know to navigate our day-to-day -day life. God has communicated his glory, his majesty, and his secrets to each of us who is willing to be still and listen. So if you would like to hear God more distinctly and clearly, won't you pray with me? Lord, we thank you that you give us eyes to see and ears to hear, that you desire for us to know you and commune with you, that you long for a closer, more intimate connection with us, to be your friends, not your slaves. So Lord, give us eyes to see what you're doing. Give us ears to hear what you're speaking to us. Illuminate your word so that we can know you and understand you better. Open our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This is Dr. Tony Cooper. Thanks for listening.